Thank you. It's a privilege to be here today in the beautiful city of Irvine as we usher in a new era in commuter rail travel. I am pleased to introduce the first cars of Metrolink's new Guardian fleet, the safest, most technologically advanced rail cars in the United States, and they're debuting here first on the Metrolink system. There are only one component of a comprehensive safety program here at Metrolink. We have 10 cars that will begin service immediately, and over the next two years, by the end of 2012, we will have 137 cars come into service. These cars have been a long time coming. Uh, as an industry leader, Metrolink has once again been the first in the country on another important safety front. Earlier this year, you may recall, Metrolink became the first commuter rail operation to install and operate inward-facing cameras on all of its locomotive fleet. This is just a continuation and extension of that safety commitment. I have to acknowledge the collaboration that has taken place over the past six years that have brought these cars to fruition. It has involved Metrolink staff, the Federal Railroad Administration, Department of Transportation, and the Hyundai Rotem Company, as well as the Volpe Safety Institute. Underneath the tent, if you haven't had a chance, take a look at the videos and you can see the difference in these cars versus the older cars. I'm very pleased that the Metrolink riders will be the first in the nation to enjoy the peace of mind that comes in riding in these cars. And not only are they designed with the latest and greatest craft collision absorption technology, but they're also very comfortable and we'll get a chance to see those soon. I'd like to acknowledge a number of people who are here today and thank them for coming out to share this momentous occasion. Uh, Orange County Transportation Authority Board Member and City of Laguna Niguel Mayor Pro Tem and Metrolink Board Member Paul Glau. We have the mayor of the wonderful city of Irvine, which I know is the safest large city in America. Congratulations once again for that distinction, Mayor Suki Kang. We have council member Christina Shea. Christina, thank you for being here. Council member Dr. Stephen Choi. Dr. Choi, thank you. We have the executive assistant to Mayor Pro Tem Larry Agron, Cheryl Honig. The Chief Executive Officer and a tremendous transportation leader throughout the state of California and now someone that serves the lucky citizens of Orange County to have his talents, Executive Officer Will Kempton. A gentleman who's been very instrumental in Metrolink's technical advancements, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the OCTA, Daryl Johnson. Where's Daryl? We have the manager of local government relations from OCTA. Oh, there you are. I'm right sorry, there. Right. <laughs> right under my nose. Uh, the manager of local government relations from OCTA, Dave Simpson. The project director from the Hyundai Rotem Company, Mr. S G G. Mr. G. Welcome. The public works director from the city of Irvine. I had the pleasure of meeting a short time ago, Manuel Gomez. From the Hyundai Rotem Company, Mr. Min. Amtrak Superintendent Mike Chandler. The project manager for the LTK Engineering, Jeff Stafford. Passing Metrolink. And uh, the brakes sound much better on the new vehicles. We'll work on that. Uh, 
Uh, and a gentleman I'd like to acknowledge, a former Metrolink employee who was instrumental in the development of these cars, and a gentleman who, whose heart and soul is behind this honorable Art Millet. So I thank you so much for that. And at this point in time, I'd like to introduce again uh, the mayor for the town of the Honorable Paul Black. Thank you, Keith. And today is a very exciting day for not only Metrolink, but OCTA and all of Orange County. This is truly an exciting day. And it's pretty common that Orange County is uh, often driving the first-hand status on, on many things. And I'm proud to be in Orange County. I'm, part of the, I'm proud to be part of the city of the Miguel. Good afternoon and welcome to the launch of Metrolink's New Guardian Street. Metrolink is the first community rail system in the nation that employs the service to our and passenger cars. And it is an honor to be here today as we continue to build on Metrolink's history of safety and innovation. The new cars will enhance passenger and crew safety while also increasing passenger comfort through numerous design features such as an elevated engineer compartment for improved visibility, higher cab and passenger seat backs to provide added comfort and support for our passengers, Pre-installed inward and outward facing cameras, as mentioned by Keith earlier. We have a dedicated bicycle storage area, emergency intercom for passengers, and increased accommodations for wheelchairs. As Keith mentioned, 10 of these cars will be put into service immediately across the Metrolink system, with more cars being introduced as they are assembled. All 137 cars are expected to be in service by late 2012. The Guardian Fleet is a critical component of Metrolink's comprehensive safety program. Other safety features, improvements under the way include the ongoing implementation of positive train control using a high-tech locomotive similar to enhance engineer training and being the first in the country to utilize inward and outward facing cameras. We would not be here today without a successful partnership of Metrolink's member agencies, the Federal Railroad Administration, the United States Department of Transportation, and the manufacturer Hyundai Rotem. Metrolink strives to provide superior service that is safe and dependable, and I would like to thank everyone for the commitment to enhancing safety along the system. And it's now my pleasure to introduce my good friend and mayor of this great city of Irvine, and that's Mayor Suki Kang. Suki. Thank you, Paul, for a wonderful introduction, and welcome to uh, Irvine. It is just, you know, wonderful be, to be here, uh, and I say this for a reason. This is more or less a historic presence. What you see before you is our future, which is under construction, the Orange County Great Park, the largest park in the country when it's built. And this entryway is going to be the major entry to the uh, uh, Orange County Great Park. So everyone uh, standing here today, we are celebrating. We are actually setting a history for the, uh, uh, for the future. So on behalf of the City of Irvine and the entire City Council, it is a pleasure to welcome everyone to this um, Irvine station for this special occasion. Uh, last winter, uh, matter of fact, only about a year ago, uh, we were here launching what's called flyaway bus that directly connects the Irvine station to LAX. That was another um, accomplishment that we have done, uh, working closely with the OCTA and other, uh, the uh, uh, LAX uh, authority and, and all. So this year, we are here to celebrate the public launch of Metrolink's new Hyundai Rotem rail car fleet. Now, I'm going to just practice one time. I noticed that um, Mr. Glad, um, Francy Hyundai, let's just do it together. Sunday, Monday, Hyundai. <laughs> All right? Okay. It's Hyundai, France, Hyundai, not Hyundai. Uh, these are important steps in improving the efficiency, the effectiveness, and the safety of public transportation here in Southern California. Irvine Station is one of the two busiest rail stations in Orange County, serving both Metrolink and Amtrak. And Metrolink service provides 35 weekday tr uh, trains and 14 weekend trains with 2,900 passengers coming through the station on a daily basis. 
Uh, on a personal basis, I uh, do go to a SCAG meeting, and every month I take this Amtrak um, to L uh, Union Station and take the red line to go, to go to the meeting. What a breeze. It's drive-free, and you can call, and you can do all the business in the train, and really uh, efficiently use your time. So as has been duly noted with the rollout of the Hyundai Rutten rail car, Metrolink now has the safest rail car in the United States. This week's whistle stop tour along the Metrolink line is a reminder of the importance we all place on state-of-the-art public transportation in Southern California. It is something we embrace here in Irvine. It also reminds us that Irvine Station is a product of a variety of different partnerships. Partnerships that have grown together over the years, including the City of Irvine. The Orange County Transportation Authority in includes seven bus lines at Irvine Station. Amtrak, we all have one thing in common, a vision to improve travel, mobility, and safety in Irvine, in Orange County, and throughout uh, Southern California. So Irvine Station started out 20 years ago as a single Amtrak platform with less than a handful of stops. Today, it has grown into a true multimodal uh, service center with a two and a half year old parking structure with the room of 1,495 spaces, along with the retail space opportunities and a new cafe that opens this coming uh, coming spring. So in addition to Amtrak and Metrolink trains, we have convenient bus service, bicycle facilities, taxi service, car and van pooling, rental car opportunities, and a unique and evolving zero emission vehicle program known as ZNet. They all contribute to a smooth and enjoyable experience for more than one million patrons uh, each year. So as we look to the future, it is important to take a moment and appreciate the opportunities we have with this great facility. Irvine Station provides the opportunity to commute throughout Southern California in an, in an easy and convenient fashion. It is good for the business traveler, it is good for the commuter, and it is good for the environment. So with that, thank you so much for being here and we are celebrating our launch of this great uh, system. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, next, a gentleman that really needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway because he has been a tremendous transportation advocate, uh, advocate for rail travel throughout the state of California, the Chief Executive Officer of the OCTA, the Honorable Will Kempton. Thank you, uh, Chairman Milhouse, and uh, I uh, want to take a moment to uh, just uh, express my appreciation to the uh, Metrolink Board uh, and uh, all of the great work you've done in terms of improving rail travel throughout this region, and also to recognize the City of Irvine. This is a great facility, one of the showcase transportation facilities in Orange County, uh, with a 1,500 uh, parking space uh, 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 structure here to uh, serve the ridership, uh, you know, a, a beautiful station facility, uh, and now some great equipment to go along with it. We're really honored to be here today as part of the Whistle Stop Tour to showcase the new Guardian Fleet and, and Mayor Kane. Uh, this is how we get out of uh, mispronouncing Hyundai, Hyundai, I think I said that right. Uh, we're going to call it the new Guardian Fleet, and uh, that makes it a little easier. And that will enhance safety along the over 500 miles in the Metrolink system in Southern California. And these cars really do lead the way uh, for the nation. Uh, and uh, the rest of the states, uh, and it continues uh, Metrolink's commitment to safety innovation. We're proud to think of ourselves as Metrolink in Orange County at OCTA, uh, and we're proud to be a partner with Metrolink and fund the operations along the rail lines here in this county. Orange County has a great representation on the Metrolink board. Uh, two of our members are, are leaving the board, uh, uh, Director Zar Brown and Director uh, Richard Dixon. Uh, OCTA alternate, previous alternate, Paul Glad is stepping up to be a full, uh, a full member of the Metrolink board and uh, we uh, are going to have to uh, uh, determine uh, another representative uh, on, on the board as well. 
Our uh, uh, commitment to Metrolink's operations, expansion and safety is uh, demonstrable. Uh, we've purchased a, a, a lot of the cars to provide the additional capacity for future service in Orange County. Actually, we pay for 59 out of the 117 vehicles uh, for a total of 137 million. I think we did all right when you look at these vehicles. These are beautiful, beautiful rail uh, vehicles. Uh, we've also contributed $38.4 million towards the implementation of positive train control along the system as part of our fair share to that effort. Uh, we're launching increased Metrolink service between Laguna Niguel, Mission Viejo, and Fullerton starting in the spring. And ultimately, Measure M2 will provide for a total of 76 trains a day in Orange County, and that's up from 42 trains a day today. Uh, I want to again thank the uh, Metrolink members and city officials, and I want to especially thank uh, Metrolink CEO John Fenton. Uh, from, the, uh, from a CEO's perspective, your emphasis on safety, John, has been nothing short of extremely refreshing and much needed, and I really appreciate the uh, aggressive way in which you've approached that and, and helped us to make for a safer system here in Southern California. So with that, we look forward to continuing uh, to work with Metrolink. Uh, the other partner agencies and our residents to enhance mental health service throughout the region. That turns back to the chairman. As I mentioned earlier, the cars are the result of a collaborative effort, and the key player in that was the Hyundai Rotem company. Yeah. Now, some people ask, well, how come you didn't buy your cars from an American company? And back when these cars went out for bid, there were no American companies that bid for. The, the project. Hyundai Rotem came in with the lowest responsible bid and being a responsible steward of the taxpayer's money, we worked to ensure these cars were delivered on time and on budget, and they were. The Hyundai Rotem people, though, recognized the need for us to incorporate American ingenuity and talent into the design of these cars, and as a result, the cars are manufactured in Korea and then shipped to Southern California where they are assembled by a group of highly skilled workmen and work persons in the Eastern Maintenance Facility in the city of Colton. That has resulted in the creation of 110 new jobs, which we desperately need here in Southern California. So, Hyundai Rotem, we'd like to thank you for your efforts and in that regard. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you the project director for the Guardian Fleet from Hyundai Rotem, Mr. G. Chairman, Mr. Miraos, Mayor of Brooklyn, for coming back. Mayor Sophie Khan, OCTA's CEO, Will Campton, SCLA President, John Campton. It is a great honor and privilege for me to address you on behalf of Hyundai Rotem at, at this important milestone, the Laurel Ceremony. Particularly, I'm very happy. I'm very privileged to hold this, uh, this kind of event at this beautiful, wonderful facility. It is my belief that the new Lakers will contribute to improve greatly the regional transit system for the five counties in Southern California. This is particularly meaningful to Orange County, which is the large number of the commuters. Today, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our client, the SCLA, and the relevant organizations and the public for the continued support and patience. Hyundai Rotten Company started manufacturing the Rolling Stars in the mid-1960s. And since then, we have provided the most modernized and user-friendly lake cars, equipped with the cutting-edge technology. The trains you see here represent another sample of our products. This train in particular was designed in consideration of passengers' safety first and the maximum comfort. The technology adopted in this vehicle is the so-called the crazy energy management, which allows to observe the force at the impact. This is the first time such unique technology is used in the USA. Thus, the passengers in Southern California may now enjoy the safety rights in the USA with pride. Through this occasion, I believe Hyundai Rotem 
again demonstrate its preparedness to further serve you by participating in the upcoming high-speed rail project in California. Another peculiar aspect of this project is the cooperation between USA and Korea. Korea. The major components of this train are made in USA, and the final assembly is carried out here in the Southern California, creating more than 100 new jobs. Today, I would like to invite you to experience and enjoy these new Lakers, which are very properly named as Guardian. But further, I also invite you to continue to enjoy your daily commute, your shopping trips, and your family gatherings with the safety and the convenience. That would be one of the realistic ways to achieve the so-called green growth, the imminent topic of the world. I thank you once again for giving me this opportunity to express Hyundai Lotem's gratitude, appreciation to SCLA and to the public. Thank you. We are privileged in April of this year to have a new chief executive officer selected by the board. And in my wildest dreams, I don't think I could have uh, asked for a stronger leader than the gentleman I'm going to introduce next. Each and every day, we recognize that we carry the lives of thousands of passengers in our hands. First and foremost, we consider safety to be paramount at Metrolink. But we also want you to have a wonderful ride and experience on the Metrolink system. And so the gentleman here has been tasked with making this agency the premier commuter railroad in the United States. So with that, John Fenton. back, I've been here eight months now, and I think about how privileged I am uh, to work for an organization that uh, had the vision to create something like this. You know, and I think that there's a lot of people that need to be thanked today, because there's, this represents many hours of work, or represents many hours of, of thought about how these became a reality, but it had to start with a vision. And the board of directors at Metrolink started this vision seven years ago before anyone had heard of Chatsworth, before uh, the, the horrific incidents that happened that day, two years ago, they had the foresight to think about how they enhanced safety in the United States. And to work for an organization that has that kind of vision to be the leaders, how special is that? And you know, everything you do in life is about leadership. And I think Metrolink has been blessed tremendously with the leadership by the board, with leadership from the transit agencies to strive to be number one, to strive to be the best in the United States. I mean, after moving back to California after 20 years, that's something I forgot about the culture here. And I think that's truly a special thing that Southern California has, and I've lived everywhere. Uh, lived all over North America, including Canada. And when you come to Southern California, you see the spirit that Californians want to be the best. And this truly represents the best in the railroad sector. And, you know, I, being a railroad professional most of my life, I look at these cars and I see what it represents. And they're truly technological marvels. Uh, everything from the fire retardant seats and, and material to the, the more comfortable seating to the bathrooms. It not only had better safety, but it had better comfort. It has better visibility and protection for our train crews. Because at Metrolink, it truly is about the passenger's experience. And as we move forward, this gives us a platform to be that world class, to provide that service where when people get on our trains, it's that wow experience where they want to come and feel good about riding that train on a daily basis. And I tell my staff all the time, we, have, uh, we can be the difference between a good day and a bad day for, for commuters who ride our rail lines. We want to make it a positive experience and one where people can truly come out and, as Will said, uh, do some other things, enjoy the ride, be productive, uh, and make it a special day. So I just appreciate the leadership of the board, uh, what they've meant over the years, and uh, seven years of hard work, now you're seeing a tangible product. So I'm very privileged to introduce these into revenue service next week. Uh, 
Uh, and I know everybody's anxious to get on, so I know we're going to have a ribbon cutting ceremony. And I invite everybody to please come on the cars, have a chance to sit, and experience uh, the truly wonderful asset that's going to serve Southern California well for the next 30 years. So thank you very much. Okay, and I know you're here to see the cars. We're going to open them up right after we cut the ribbons. If I can get the dignitaries to come up, Christina, Mr. Mayor. Safety fellow passengers, we always ask that you keep your personal items with you and don't ever leave bags unattended. Should you see unattended bags or anything suspicious, we always ask to please notify the conductor. Please stand by the door, the doors will be closing. And again, we're heading up to Santa Ana, and those of you that are riding with us would like to come back, you'll be more than welcome on the Metro Lake 684 and 319 to bring you back.
That works, thank you. My name is Keith Milhouse. I'm the chairman of the board of directors of Metrolink, and we're here today introducing the first cars of our new Guardian fleet. They incorporate the latest collision absorption technology and are the safest, most technologically advanced rail cars in the United States, and we're privileged to have them debut here on the Metrolink system. To tell you a little bit about them, um, I'm not an engineer, but from a layperson's standpoint, essentially uh, it's similar to the transition from decorative chrome bumpers on automobiles to an area that absorbs the impact and protects the passengers and the crew. Uh, you'll notice that this train is different from a cab car perspective than our other ones because it's got a forward area. This incorporates the collision absorption technology. Underneath, we have a slider system that in the event of an impact, will slide together. There's a, a, a slide that comes in and it has bolts that shear off based upon the amount of force that is applied. In addition, there are certain tubes that are part of the structure here that are designed to collapse in proportion to the amount of force that is exerted. So by absorbing the force from a collision, it, it allows the train to remain upright, which protects the passengers. And then the force is also distributed along the outside of the train down along the skin. Because if you don't have anywhere for the force to go, then the trains ride up in each other. So you'll see here on the front of the train, we have a new and improved coupling system. And the couplers are designed as pushback couplers. So in the event of a collision, the force will not push a coupler up and separate, but will work to push the train backwards. When you have a coupler that comes uncoupled, you have the potential for the trains to go into each other which is something you want to avoid from a safety standpoint. So uh, those are just some of the features. You can see the interior of the car is a little bit later. They have the high seat backs, which are very good from a comfort level. But most importantly, they're designed to keep the occupants in a contained or compartmentalized area. So that in the event of a crash, they're not flying around and running into other people, which can cause injuries as well. They're a little bit similar to a school bus. If you've seen the high backs on the school buses, the concept is the same there. So again, uh, these cars are the first of their kind in the United States, and we're very pleased that the people on the Metrolink system will be the first in the country to en enjoy the benefits of these and the peace of mind of knowing they're riding in the safest rail cars in the country. Just so you can watch your step board and do training. And without that, I will go ahead and turn over to our chairman, Keith Milhouse, and thanks for coming. Wait for my friends and Amtrak to go by. Another thing that's new. I want you to notice the uh, our field service reps over here. How stylish they are. We're going to have a little uh, fashion exhibit here. Uh, go ahead, walk down the aisle. Right now. We're going to do it the right way. But these are the new uniforms. Uh, hopefully, it'll, it'll help stand out so you know who to go to, to for help. I can't say enough about the great job that they do. And uh, they're here to help help make your uh, experience that much better. If you need anything, these are the guys to go to. And now they really look nice on top of everything. So I don't know if you got that runway walk, but you're sure welcome to try. So thank you very much.